Aloha world, welcome to another token daily video where today I get to show off my new computer. I'm actually quite proud of this thing. It, uh, it was the first computer that I've built since 1999. I don't remember a damn thing about that computer except for the video card. I, uh, it was the ATI all in wonder 128 quite snappy computer for its day but you know things have changed a little bit believe it or not since 1999 uh especially in terms of actually building computers putting them together piece by piece it's gotten a hell of a lot easier so here we is um with this this just beast of a computer um and the thing about this video is that starting things off with showing it in its final configuration here and then now here in the middle chunk of the video it's going to be me doing a sort of unboxing slash show and tell of the parts and pieces um, i don't show each step of putting everything into place but you know off we go Here we have the case. Oh, that's just, it's downright sexy, I gotta say. And pull this up because it's right in front of my face. So I fully support them, and that's why I had to go with our pick for the cooler LA. A couple of reasons I wanted to get the ATX 3.0 version of a power supply. Uh, didn't necessarily have to be this thermal tape. So I have an addition. This is the weight bag here with all of the, the cables in here. Okay, okay. Really everywhere around here. Okay, we'll keep these as is. Keep the processor as is. Which the pipe over. Actually, hold on, let me take another one. This motherboard out. This was something that I originally was not going to plan on buying. When this I first was kind of planning on this build. I was just going to get whichever white themed motherboard that I could find for a decent price. But then I found out that Azrock had this. Oh, jeez. It's, it's actually better in real life looking at it with my own eyes than it looked in pictures or in videos. So yeah, I saw this and I was like, oh my jeez, this is a must buy. This is a need to have. I can't go without it. So here we are. Now this is the AMD version of the motherboard. The Intel version is purple and blue, right? Okay, than... next up. The big boy, the Gigabyte Ooh. Arrow 4080. Oh. And the black box here, all sleek and sexy like. Oh, let me get a CD. People use those nowadays still? Okay. Okay, okay. And in addition to a little bracket here to hold it up and place in the system, here is the card. Oh boy. I'm still super excited for it. And I do figure with the little bit of RGB that I'll have going on inside of there, most of the orange with the, air, the RGB. Um, this will still look plenty flippin' awesome. Damn, this is a monstrous piece. Oh, and you know what? It, yeah, when the light hits it, it's kind of reflective in that little bit, so it definitely looks more white from certain angles. Ah, oh, it just like, looks so good. There's even a little bit of a peel here that we can take off that 
might even make it look even more sharp. Oh yeah, that's definitely good and white. So it actually does fit very well with the color theme of the case. Look how fucking thick that is though. Jeeps. <laughs> so yeah, uh, visual aesthetics was certainly a priority for me in this build. And yeah, this video card, it had that, that peelable plastic on there. I thought I had footage of me peeling that off, but alas, I apparently did not record that. That's all right. Um, I'll make up for that one later on here in a little bit. But this, this white, the whiteness of this card is what sold me on it. Um, it was a little more expensive versus some of the other available options of the 4080, but I didn't care because this, at the time of purchase was the only white option available and once again this orange splatter motherboard ah it just it stole my heart from the moment i saw it um and actually originally initially i was anticipating an intel build i was going to get the uh the 13600 but then i saw this motherboard um, there is a version of it for Intel, and it is purple splattered, purple and blue, rather than this orange and red. But, and, and you know, that, that wasn't a bad color option either. Because both purple and orange are kind of my favorite colors. But I am a bit more biased towards orange versus purple. If I were to just pick one for a single favorite color, it is orange. Um, anyways... Uh, so for storage, I have two of those M.2 uh, 980 Pros from Samsung. There's the one terabyte, and I also have a two terabyte. Um, the two terabyte had not shipped to me at the time of recording this video yet. It actually just shipped to me a couple days ago. Um, so that should be getting here, hopefully. Maybe tomorrow, uh, or if not tomorrow, then Monday. So looking forward to that. And, um, yeah, everything about this was, was fun. The, the building process was not difficult at all. Uh, I just kind of made sure with everything that I did plug in that it was very firmly seated, fully in place. Uh, I consulted the manuals quite often at times between the, uh, the motherboard and the case just to make sure I was doing everything proper and I knew damn sure that what I was plugging in was going to be going exactly where I was putting it. And man, I have no regrets, none whatsoever in building this. Um, there were probably a couple things I could have done a little bit differently, a little bit better, a little bit more optimal in, in some ways. But that's just because I'm something of a perfectionist. And anytime I do something, I'm like, all right, now how can I learn from what I just did and, and do it better next time if I were to do it again? Um, I'm certainly not going to be in a hurry to build another computer. This one should last me for a good while. Um, and I'll be having plenty of fun with it along the way. So let me see here what else to mention. Oh yeah, we got some a, a quick cable management shot here, which was made super easy with the, the Velcro straps that the case provided. The case also provided this ARGB controller. Um, with all of those already pre-plugged into it, all I had to do was, uh, connect the front panel to the motherboard, basically around that, uh, ARGB controller to the, to the motherboard, obviously. And uh, just, everything was just too easy. So, f fuck yeah. <laughs> um, and now one more final shot of the computer with it turned on, with it up and functional. It just looks so good. It's it's one of those things that literally every day when I turn it on, I'm just amazed when the lighting comes on. I just love it. Every every little bit about it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna shush myself here in a couple more seconds because we got the main peel to take care of here. There's one on the inside that I did off camera and then there is this. Oh, 
so satisfying. So satisfying. Um, so yeah, you know what? That's about all I have for today. Um, um, so now that I have this computer, I got no excuses as to, you know, why not make some more videos here coming up. So that might just be it's coming in the future. More videos, that is. So <laughs> until then, cheers, everybody. Hope you have yourself a great new year. Happy 2023. Um, and farewell to 2022.